Hello, hello. Welcome back to the weekly Monday Motivation Podcast, No More Excuses. I am your host, Sandy Ballard. And if you're new here, please connect with me on social media, Taskmaster Sandy for Twitter, and it's Sandy with an I, just to be difficult. Yeah. Um, growing Forward Coaching um, Facebook and LinkedIn, my name, obviously, and my website, Badass Business. Dot coach. So thanks for being here. Thanks for listening and thanks for sharing this podcast with your network. And with this being the week of Thanksgiving here in the U.S., I will say I am truly thankful for all of you being here, for all of you sharing the podcast. So it has gone around the world. So it's really cool. And I'm not just saying that because for those of you who know me, I don't have time to bullshit around. I will say I'd be more grateful if you'd share the podcast on your social media. <laughs> After all, Sharing, helping, and collaborating is how we all grow, isn't it? So once you connect with me, message me or tag me, and then I can follow you back, right? And give you a shout out. And yes, like I said, it's the week of Thanksgiving here in the U.S. It's the beginning of the holiday madness for a lot of people. With family coming in, or perhaps you traveling elsewhere. Kids being out of school, cleaning frenzies, cooking, baking, shopping, decorating, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and lots and lots of Christmas music and movies. This week is also the week, because it's Thanksgiving, that people reflect on what they're thankful for. Tis the season to be thankful, right? So people reflect on their year, reflect on what's happened, and trust me, it can be hard to be thankful all the time, can't it? Especially when shit's going sideways. If you're in the middle of a shit storm, it's super hard to just stop and go, oh, I'm so thankful. But that's kind of what people's things now, you know, being grateful, being thankful, being present. You know, but when you have unexpected car repairs or other bullshit expenses, trust me, with this move, we've had a lot of unexpected expenses. So I'm feeling it personally. But no matter what's happen, happening, you know, could be your craziest, busiest season of the, you know, time of the year could be your slowest for your industry. You know, whatever it is, it can take over your mind and screw with your mojo. In last week's podcast, I talked about, yes, the results you're playing for to finish the year strong. And your homework was to think about how are you, your business, your career different from January 1st to now, right? So what'd you come up with? I heard from Nicole in Rhode Island, hashtag badass, she stopped her side business on purpose so she could refocus on family, friends, and her health. Isn't that amazing? I mean, sometimes you just have to pause. And Edie, my badass friend in Indiana, man, she is just a, she is a huge badass this year. She is just, has a completely different mindset. And she's done some really cool uh, internal personal work, and now she's helping others. And I've heard other people with their confidence level is so much stronger. And people are learning to put themselves first for the sake of their health, especially women. Last week, I also, in last week's podcast, I also talked about my monthly group. There, uh, that's where the question came from is, how are you different? We were discussing their 2020 goals. And they were also discussing, I heard them talking about why they were pu- putting certain things off. And it, we, we came up with, through conversation, they needed permission. You know, sometimes we need someone to say, it's okay to, and then fill in the blank. You know, last week, uh, I gave you all, if you were listening, permission to take a breath. And this week, it's about going further into why some goals aren't being accomplished or why you may feel a certain way because of your perception that you don't have the time or how if you want to do XYZ, how it's going to affect others. Okay, we've got to ask for help. That's what my women's groups are all about, asking for the help. And more importantly, allowing yourself to receive the help. One client said she hadn't been able to really get into a, a workout routine that she could stick with. Um, due to her kids' schedules, her career, the business that she and her husband run. And her husband gave her permission, no, not in that demanding old school way, 
but more of the you do a lot for everyone it's okay to take care of you too kind of way and it just like clicked and she's like okay and now she is working out in the mornings and said it's it's only about a 45 minute delay with her getting to the office or just a 45 minute disruption in a whole day just to get this workout done and she's feeling great it's been two solid months of her sticking to a routine she's been trying to do it all she's doing a fantastic job but she wasn't putting herself first she wasn't taking care of her health and in turn she was frustrated and distracted and another client emailed me friday morning and asked truly asked me for permission her email said say one thing to me to make it okay to shut off the business world after lunch and revise my 2020 plan. So I emailed her back. I said, you have my permission. Go work on your business instead of in it. Shut off the phone, shut off the email, and focus on the business. And another client, it was just all timely, but this is what we're doing right now, reviewing and, and setting up next year. Another client um, started getting emotional on Friday during a phone call. And I let her have the space to feel it. And yes, I did. And I told her, we're human. It's okay to feel. Stop avoiding it. If you're sad, be sad. And so we're kind of talking about it. And she was like, you're right. I have the permission to feel the feels. Yep. Go feel the feels. Yes, it does tend to mostly be women who try to do it all and need permission to take a breath. So you have to do what's going to help you be 100%. Something I preach about all the time. I had a client. It's her crazy ass busy season. So it, she's um, when I talk, was talking with her last week, she'd already done about eighty hours of work in three days, and she had just gotten back to her um, home, and it was like five, I think, right around five o'clock. She's like, I don't even think I'm going to turn on my computer tonight. I'm going to lay on the couch, watch TV, which I never do, go to dinner with my husband, and then go to bed. And I said, Good do it. She's like, all right, I'm not, I'm going to do it by do by doing it. She wasn't going to do it. She wasn't going to work anymore. She's taking the time to rejuvenate herself instead of pushing herself and burning herself out, which is so, um, it, it can happen a lot this time of year for her. And when you give yourself the time to refresh your mind and body, much like an athlete, there are those rest days, right? You're more able to get back at it. After a good night's sleep, we all know, you know, sometimes we just crash, but we stop. We tend to not stop and take that fuck it day or day of rest or evening off or whatever until we need it, till our, we're sick, until we can't take any more. And so, I mean, Tad, my man candy, he was falling asleep, literally almost fell off the stool at his desk because he was working on a project so late. He had put in like an 18 hour day. So you have to stop yourself. And all this does, if we try to power through, is burn ourselves out, build up frustration, and causes us to be a little bitchy, right? And all the male listeners just shook their head. Yes, you women can be a little bitchy when you get tired. Or perhaps you can hear me and understand a little more about why. And perhaps offer to help or just do it. And women, let them help. Accept the damn help. As I was told once by the lovely Hazel Walker, she said, Sandy, do you want to, the towels folded or do you want them folded right? And we weren't talking about folding towels. But that analogy has stuck with me for about 20 years now, and now it's your turn. Okay, do you want the towels folded or do you want them folded right? Everyone, you have, get, you have permission to pause. You have permission to just rest and then get back up, get back up early and do it again. You know, go back at it, but you've got to refresh yourself. So, yes, it's a week to be thankful. So tell me one thing you're thankful for, but then tell me one thing you've put off doing. Because as you're reviewing your year, what's something you just couldn't get a uh, habit formed or you just couldn't get into a routine or you just gave up on because you felt it would affect other people, uh, clients, kids, other schedules? And you just couldn't get into that, right? So what's one thing you haven't achieved because of that? Email me, sballard at growingforward.biz or post here. And if you can't figure it out, would you just freaking email me, sballard at growingforward.biz. Message me on social media. Let's talk because together we will 
figure it out. All right, have a great week. Have a very grateful week. And thank you again for being here. Cheers.